Forget clothing lines and opening bars or car dealerships. Those things can lose money. A group of pro athletes, though, is turning to farmland as the new addition, newest addition rather, to their investment portfolios. The group includes NFL stars Joe Burrow and Zach Ertz, NBA players like Blake Griffin and Chris Middleton, also NHL star Anders Lee. They're all joining forces to purchase a 100-acre farm in northern Iowa. Now, they won't be working the fields themselves, but they plan to lease it to farmers and earn what is expected to be up to a 9% return on their investment each year. Fascinating. Joining us now is Carter Malloy. He's the founder and CEO of Acre Trader. Carter, good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you. So specifically farmland in Iowa, it's gone up in price by 17% in one year. Why would farmland be a hot commodity? Iowa itself and in many other locations, farmland values have gone up uh, for the simple reason that we have a finite amount of farmland and it's shrinking every day. And we have more and more mouths to food every, to feed, uh, to provide food, fuel, and fiber to every day. So as a result, you have this very simple understanding of supply and demand of farmland out there. And these pro athletes, just like some multi-trillion dollar asset managers out there, are waking up and realizing consistency of portfolio returns and risk-adjusted returns are actually really exciting uh, when we look at adding farmland to any standard portfolio. Right, when I think exciting, I think of farmland, of course. Uh, but I do wanna ask, uh, you just mentioned some very attractive elements of what would make farmland an attractive investment. Can you go more into detail about that? How good are these returns? So investors can make money from farmland in two ways. One is that you can get receivers rent from the farmer or a revenue share alongside the farmer. And you can also be exposed to underlying appreciation, that, that is improvement in value of that land over time. So the two of those combined over the last 20 or 30 years have produced 11 or 12% returns. So something similar to the stock market, albeit with far less volatility. So you don't have the big price swings. So it's just this very, it's a, a very boring asset class to say the least, as, as you alluded to a moment ago, uh, but the consistency is what we're after. This is not a get rich quick scheme. We're not out buying paintings of digital rocks, right? This is a real asset in the real world. that's tangible and, and grows things that we need no matter what. We all have to eat no matter what. Hey, digital rocks, they're not worth anything, but bored apes, no, we can talk about that a little bit later. Let me ask you about the risks though, because uh, as every financial services commercial will tell you, investing your money uh, has risk inherent in it. So what are the risks of investing in farmland? There are risks, right, in investing in anything. So uh, one is if the farmer decides to move on or retire, you've got to go find a new farmer. Uh, there's always a risk in underwriting land itself. Uh, so whether you're a group of pro athletes or individual buying land, uh, it, you, you can go buy land that's way overpriced. And, and that can be a real issue for you as well. It's a, it's a difficult asset to understand. There's lots of idiosyncrasies within each parcel of land that you could potentially acquire. And that's really why we built our business, Acre Trader, so folks could, could lean on us and we can help them to go out and understand the asset class and bring this out for everyone else for the rest of the world to be able to invest in. Yeah, I do wonder if those Iowa farmers see those pro athletes and their money coming and they're like, hey, how about a 17% premium, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, money coming into rural America is a good thing. That's what we're excited about is we partner with farmers to, right. to help folks invest and, and help the farmer grow their business. All right, Carter Malloy uh, from Acre Trader, the CEO. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.